workshop. This time it's an antenna tuner, uh, an MFJ998. And uh, this tuner uh, lights up but fails to tune. The MFJ998 is quite a popular uh, one and a half kilowatt capable automatic tuner. Uh, this one lights up, all the menus behave uh, as they should, uh, but it simply fails to tune. Uh, there are some known issues with these tuners. Uh, those heavy toroids you can see uh, quite often result in broken uh, solder joints. Uh, due to the weight of the uh, the, the toroids themselves. Uh, that isn't the issue in this case. Um, it's not that the antenna tries to tune and can't. It doesn't even try. Now, MFJ aren't kind enough to supply an actual schematic, uh, although they do provide a, uh, a block diagram. And one of the first things we can see is that there is an SWR sensor which senses when RF energy is being pumped into the tuner. And uh, a dead giveaway in this instance is the fact that the front panel meter doesn't deflect at all. Uh, some quick measurements of the uh, SWR sensor tells us that there's no RF energy being detected. There's nothing mysterious about the SWR sensor, quite a conventional thing, a little tor uh, toroidal coupler. A couple of diodes and uh, two cables coming out, one for forward, one for reverse. Uh, but in this case, uh, even if you pumped 100 watts into it, there's uh, nothing coming out of it in either the forward or reverse direction. No voltage at all. And the fault in this case was simply an open circuit inductor on that SWR sensing board. A little component worth a few cents, enough to stop a $1,600 antenna tuner from working. Replace the inductor, everything's back to normal. So there we go. Another successful repair and uh, hopefully another happy customer. Mm -hmm.